Hey friends, this is Squigs, back with another episode of Squiggy 7 First Impressions, where I take random NES games and blind review them in an effort to learn about the more obscure games on the console. So, without further ado, here's our theme song, our improv theme song of the week. You get, uh, you get one of those every week, so there you go. I need to come up with another gimmick, it seems. All right, so let's jump right into it. Um, can't be showing you this white screen forever. So due to my new recording software, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see my list of games, but it's up right now. I'll pick one at random, and uh, we'll jump right into it. Robin Hood, the Prince of Thieves. This should be interesting. This is another one I have not heard of. Um, let's see. Is my controller set up? Good to go? Probably not. Um, there we go. New game. This is kind of cool. Jerusalem, 191194 AD, third year of the Third Crusade. This is a little. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what do we got here? All right. A and B seem to do nothing. Start pauses. Oh. It's not what I was expecting from a. Uh, from Robin Hood of all things. It's kind of strange. Strange setup altogether. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Quiet, Englishman, or your turn will be twice as long. Oh, it looks like we're in jail of some sort, but I do see a sword. So I'm assuming that by equipping it, maybe? Robin Hood has no one to speak with, sees no one to speak with. Alright. Maybe I can sw oh, I can just swing it now just by picking it up. So I'm assuming. <laughs> We brutally murdered this guy who left his sword unattended like a fucking idiot. Free at last. Yeah, that was really hard. Not unless we get out of here. Lead the way, I'll try to keep up. Are those, like, stills from a movie? I've never seen, like, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. They look like they're taken directly from a movie, though. What is, what is your... Oh, he must be in my party or something. Oh, I guess I gotta search this guy. Find a key. Seems like it's a little bit, uh... I gotta take it now. I grasp it. Do I have to say pocket and everything? Yeah, it seems like a little tedious, but that's how those little games were sometimes, so... It's like an adventure style game, I'm supposing. Free me and I'll show you the way out. Why should I trust you? Good question. If you don't, we are all dead men. Well... Well, that's... I mean, that doesn't... shouldn't make me trust you anymore, but I guess I will in this case. Thank you, my friend. I am Azim. Nice to meet you, buddy. There's a secret passage under the floor at the southeast corner. I also hit a door key in the cell besides this one. Nice. We get another band member. Alright. Let's search over here. Hidden door key, just as suspected. And I suppose... oh. Ah. This actually looks like it would be pretty fun. This game's more up my alley. Now we're talking my style with this stuff. Um, let's see, hold on one second, guys, sorry. Alright, sorry about that. Now we can continue. Let's take this key. Alright, um, I can't, I, I keep hitting the wrong button to get off here, so I'm assuming instead of going and getting chopped up by that dude, we should probably just search for the secret exit. <laughs> Robin Hood isn't an Arab person, he sees nothing of interest. That's weird. <laughs> it's weirdly stated. Maybe it's over here? He sees no I swear that he said there was a secret passage down here, but I guess we'll just... unlock the door with the door key and strikes the man. Prepare to die, infidel. Oh, we're getting a combat scene of some sort? This is interesting. Yeah! Just jump on the table here. <laughs> this is tough. Um, I feel weird that there's a table in between us. Yeah. I don't seem to be able to like duck and attack, so that's basically all I can. Do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. 
Can we get over him? Yeah, I feel like that was a bit of an unfair fight, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Just fucking table whacked me. Mortally injured, we pay That's... Quite the strange way to say game over with those little square fuzzy red tiles, but um, let's just continue. I'm surprised. All right. So this part should be easy enough. Pick up the sword, slice the unassuming guard. Free at last. Yes, 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 yes. Jump in the band, buddy. Search for the key. Take the key. Should be second. Like I'm gonna leave a key behind. Just let me. If I search for it and find it, I I want to put it in my pocket. We can assume that. Um, I wonder if I say no. I'm kind of tempted to, but I want to just get back to where we were. I should have listened again to where he said his secret passage was, but I didn't. All right. So keep it going. Prepare to die, infidel, once more. Alright, this time we're gonna bum rush him. Over him. Nope, come on. Okay, that's fine. This man is a force to be reckoned with, it appears. His, his axe is mighty. Whew. I don't know, it's just like there's only one attack, it appears. Unless maybe if I'm... I, maybe I'm missing some attacks. All right, let's start. Let's just start right over from the beginning. That is grim. Robin Hood. <laughs> I don't know why I like this little this little opening scene. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, new game, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Alright, we take the sword, whack the idiot, talk to the dude, Peter, joins the man, search the key, take the key, and this time we listen to the guy, the guy over here, that's gonna tell us where this secret fucking exit is. Alright, under the floor at the southeast corner. Oh, I bet you it's past that guy. That's probably why. I'm assuming we have to fight him first and then go to the southeast corner of the room he's in. But, um... Alright. Let's keep it going. I almost did well that time, but I still- I don't understand the mechanics. Maybe it's- or, I understand the mechanics, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with them in order to win the fight. I'm assuming it's probably like more of a hit and run type strategy. Like, strike and dodge. It's gonna be a little bit, uh... tedious. Alright, alright, alright. You and your blurry movie stills. Free our buddy Azim. Where are my party members when I'm getting, like, attacked? I mean, they could do something. <laughs> I didn't know they were just gonna tag along and, uh, mooch off my, my success. Mm, Alright. Keep getting the, the uh, controller confused. Alright. This time... We're gonna be sneaky with it. Jump over him! Thank goodness. Okay, we've done terrible. See, I just don't know. I don't- I don't think I have any other attacks. Uh, maybe I should try passing. Or, uh, pausing. In there. B. Hmm. 
Oh, I didn't want to do that. Now I have to watch this little intro. I wonder if I can speed this up. I don't think that I have, like, a, a speed-up thing for JNS. But, um, that's okay. It's not too long. Alright, so next time I'm thinking... Uh, what am I thinking? I don't know. <sighs> Alright. Come on. Search the key, take the key, which is becoming the most infuriating part that I have to take this key after searching it. Yep, we know, you're a good guy. I shouldn't even bother helping you, because I know where the key is, and you do not help me at all when I get attacked, so... What are you doing for me, buddy? Maybe I can trick him into walking into me. That actually appears to be quite quite a good idea. Just slightly moving in on him while always mashing. Well, eventually we'll get him at a point where he can just only walk forward and get hurt a little. Yeah, it's cheesy, but at least we can get past the first fucking screen. God damn. Victory, your foe is defeated. Yeah, it's kind of a victory. I don't know if it counts after that many tries. Um... This just looks like a bunch of stuff that... I should probably be searching. Who's got the time? A hidden torch! Whoa, that was worth it. <laughs> Actually, search this dead guy too, he has a not-so-hidden torch. Grasps it and puts it right in his pocket. Well, we gotta search before we take. I mean, there's so much interesting. Th oh, that's a. It's like a stretching rack of some sort, it looks like. There's one thing I like about this game so far, it's the aesthetic. I like the little. Alright, stop with that. I keep getting that button confused. I like the, the way it's like a pseudo 3D kind of. And just the colors, it looks, it looks nice to me. It's like, uh, it's different. A hidden passage. Take the hidden passage. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's on the map. Oh, that's quite <laughs> quite the hidden passage under there. We must move quickly. They will come after us. Really? Where are we? This is cool. Yeah, this whole game is just fucking cool. I like it. Flash away these guys. I'm, uh, I suppose I have to search each one of them. Oops. A hidden apple, where the fuck was it hidden? That's really strange. Why do you specify that it was hidden? It just wasn't in his pocket, in that case, I'm assuming. A hidden bag of gold. These guys are so fucking crafty. You see some remains near- oh, okay. Oh, he's giving me the catacomb message with- I like the- I guess I like the system for the looking around, it's nice. Alright, let's keep going. No idea where I'm going, but... Whoa, too far. I don't know what's up with the dark or blue water, it didn't seem to be a problem. Maybe it's just slower moving. No, it's just... Oh, they're shadows! Oh, that's nice! I like that! Damn! Wait, is this repeating? Whoa! I was not expecting that. I guess I wasn't doing too well. Maybe I only had a little bit of health left over. Oh, that's beautiful! Um, I'm at 100 HP now, so I don't know if I only had a little health left over, actually. Seriously, this is... that's getting old. There should be a button for that. Die, infidels. Oh, uh, I thought I was gonna have to do a fancy fight with him. Hidden apple. 
Maybe I can eat that apple if I start to die. I'm at 73 life, I gotta remember to pay attention to that. Plus two? What the fuck does that even mean? I'm not even getting the plus two. It's... Is that experience? It's just weird. Hmm. Alright, we went up last time, it didn't lead anywhere, so let's go up again, because there's nowhere else to go. Uh, <laughs> alright. Maybe we can go to the right shortly afterwards and Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Sees a yellow potion. I thought it was going to be another lousy bag of gold that I can't spend on anything, because I'm living in a sewer. <laughs> um... Nope, my guitar just fell. That's the price you pay when you don't pay the price for a guitar rack. <laughs> no, they're like four dollars at fucking Guitar Center. They just like hand them out when you buy like two picks. I really got wrecked there. It's kind of hard to combat in, um, but only really in close quarters when there's a lot of them. Um, otherwise, it's it doesn't seem like it's too hard. This, this style of it, anyways, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen next time I get into a fight. If they have any sort of range... Yeah, well, I spoke too soon, I guess. Because I'm not doing even well. <laughs> a hidden leg of meat. Come on, man. Why is it always hidden? That's so strange. It's not hidden if they put it in their backpack or fucking lunch bag or something. Like, I'm sure all these weren't, like, that time. That was all me. That time I got wrecked. Alright, that's... ah, uh, that's a bummer. Um, alright. Well, I'm gonna keep going at it. I actually like this game a lot so far. I think it, it'll be pretty fun. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this one. I feel like I have heard of it, but I've never actually, like, watched a video on it or anything like that. But, um... It seems like the ca Have I left this in the front of the screen the whole time? Oh my god, you guys must fucking hate me. Is that pissing you off? Uh, I hope I just bumped it recently. I should take off the fucking mouse capture, that's dumb of me. Oh yes, whatever. Shop. Never saw it coming, you dummy. <laughs> I'm really hoping that that mouse cursor wasn't in the front of the screen, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter, <laughs> either way. Alright. Yep. Come with us. And then we'll search. This does not seem like the kind of game that would have a lot of replay value, but it does seem like a really fun first playthrough to me. I really I like these kind of adventure games, and this this kind of seems to blend the adventure with like actual shitty combat. <laughs> You have to fucking abuse shitty AI to get past, in my case, anyways. I'm probably just not good. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable way to do this type of fighting, but it's beyond me. He's getting a lot more hits on me this time. I feel like last time he was pretty much helpless if I just mashed. This guy must be... I wonder if they have different, like, AI profiles that they roll randomly or something. When you get in a battle, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Victory, your foe is defeated. Then we'll search in this vague area for a hidden torch. Take said torch. Then we'll search this. Oh, we just see it right out in the open. That's my bad. I forgot about that. Alright. Now... I mean, I feel like there's more hidden stuff in here. Like, I'm gonna take a search right here. He's just, just in our prison at this point. Alright. So we're gonna search here, see this glorious passage unfurl itself. Um... Let's see. Alright, so we're probably gonna go up and to the right. Why? Oh, the health is so low, because it does carry over from battle. At least I'm not stupid there. I thought I was doing well. But, uh... That's perfect. Let's actually check, let's check out this apple. We take the apple... And who the fuck is carrying the? A what do you mean these guys have daggers and shit? They don't fight for. Uh, 
So then I can equip my mouth? Specifically? What? Like, what are these? Okay, so we have eye equipped, which I'm assuming is like sunglasses? The fucking mouth. I don't even know. These two down here don't make much sense either, like... Oh, are these... They're both take. Wow, is this a port of like an old computer game or something? I mean, it really looks like one, but... Um... Ah, this is strange. I don't know. I wish I knew how to eat that apple. It would be quite helpful, considering those plus two health points are not coming in the mail fast enough. Let's try one, take one more look at this. So we got talk, look. There's got to be a place to find the apple. It's got to be like the eat button, but doesn't seem to do anything when I click on it. No, and I hit the other button. Hmm. I don't know, maybe apples... Only usable in combat. <laughs> combat apples, that doesn't make fucking sense. Um, yeah, these guys are really hurting me. I was gonna say, is that something I can actually just pick up? I did, maybe? By hitting B over it? It felt like one of my swings didn't register. Maybe you can pick stuff up automatically. Maybe I just have to search. So if I search this guy, I find the hidden apple. Then I exit. Maybe the apples auto heal you too. So there's an apple. 22 HP, I pick it up. Oh, you can pick up with B once you see it on the ground, so that's nice. Just gotta search people. But, um, I did not auto heal, so my apple. Mmm, god damn it. Maybe there's an actual hunger mechanic that the apple's going towards, and I can't heal. That's probably my only other guess. I'm not sure, though. Let's just see if we can... <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Alright, gonna search. Hidden bandage, okay. That, if anything, should heal us. So I'm not taking no for an answer when it comes to that bandage fucking healing us. So... Uh, um, how much life do we have right now? 73? Eat the bandage. You can't eat the bandage. Oh, okay, look at the bandage. Bandage, it weighs one unit. Okay, this is starting to make more sense. Um, Robin Hood drops the bandage. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, take the bandage. He grasps it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming that's take, because it said there was no objects to pick up, so use has got to be our thing. Okay, that makes... you bandage your wounds. Alright, that makes a lot more sense then. And hopefully the apple was just down there and I was neglecting to see it or something? I don't know how I fucking missed it, it probably just didn't look like an apple to me, so I didn't bother... ...looking, I think... God damn, maybe I was wrong about how easy this combat was, it's a little bit tricky. I mean, it shouldn't be, because it's pretty basic, but... I guess I'm... Alright, hidden leg of meat. This should be edible. We got 27 points, that's definitely the leg of meat. So the apple must have been down here. Eat this shit. How much is that worth? Eats the loaf of bread, that's not a leg of meat. Weird. Oh yeah, you love that, dude. Does anyone else have any food? their shitty HP, 25, 64. Maybe... I'm gonna switch to Peter and see if it switches me to actually to Peter. It would not appear so, seeing as I have 57 HP still. Oh. I can pick... Oh! I forgot to pick up the leg of meat. There's my problem. So now if we start... Okay, we're gonna... Oh. that just change who is currently picking stuff up? Robin Hood always fights, maybe? That's that's weird. Alright, so, we'll feed this to him. He's the leg of meat. He's loving life. Eat another one. 
eats the leg of meat, and I mean, I gotta try to eat the torch just to see if he will. You can't eat the torch, that's wise. That's very wise of you. Alright. So... More bread? Alright. This is a lot more doable now that I understand how healing works. <laughs> Alright. I hope this game's not too expensive. I actually think I might want to buy this one. Especially if it looks like it has a battery backup and everything, like... With the whole new game. Hidden Quiver, ooh. That should be good. I don't think any of us have a bow. I think they just have two tiny little daggers, but... I'm sure it'll come in handy eventually. I have a feeling this game is going to be expensive, though. Just because it's... It, it just, it's good. And it looks like it's obscure, too, so... Those two together usually make it expensive. I don't know why I say it looks like it's obscure. I've just never heard of it, really. Damn. Both my fault there. Okay, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. The sewer part is pretty long. I'm not sure. Did I pick up another loaf of bread? Hidden bandage, alright. We'll go back to him and make sure we're at full. Yeah, I got lots of stuff, so. Bandage up those wounds. Eat some bread. Nope. Eat some bread. Yum. Never full, I like that. I think this is an apple, I want to say. Eat the apple. Oh, we're looking good now. That's gold, if I, or a potion. I don't I think I'd have to look at it, maybe? Did they pick up a potion? I should probably just drink that to see what the hell happens, but maybe I'll wait. I'll drink it right before a boss or something. We'll see if that comes up. Oh, he bumped me, like, the other way. That was weird. Yeah, these these must be, like, infinitely spawning enemies or something. I think there can only be one corpse on the screen, too. Our escape lies just to the north. Oh no, they're surrounding us. Fight for your lives. Uh, I hope I don't get into a special battle. What the hell is this? <sighs> Alright, I officially love this game now. I've seen three styles of, like, combat. Which is just, I'm a huge fan of people with, like, multiple styles of gameplay in the same game. Especially when they're actually all flushed out. Like, this is a little bit simple. But, um... As is the other one, I guess, the overworld one. But... You managed to defe defeat the guards, but not without casualties. Who has died? Like, casualties? I am badly wounded, Robin. Hold on to my shoulders, Peter. We must hurry. <laughs> My wound is mortal. I can go no further. We must hurry. More guards are coming. I will delay the guards as long as I can. Make your es Oh, that's so noble, Mr. Peter. Take this ring to my sister. Swear you'll protect her for me. Swear it, Robin. <laughs> I don't know you shit, dude. I rescued you. Let's go. Make his sacrifice an act of honor. Peter has left Robin's van. Well, that seemed like a little predetermined thing, so I don't. at least I don't have to worry about doing so shitty that my, my guy died. Robin and Azim narrowly escaped the guards with their lives. That must be how the movie goes or something. After a ten month journey fraught with peril, Robin and Azim are at last reached the shores of England. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> Let's talk to you, old lady. What do you got going on in your life? How's England? Hello, young man. Ooh. The rules of England have fallen since King Richard left to fight. The rule of England, my excuse me. Oh, he fraught the Crusades. A wicked tyrant, Sheriff Nottingham, is ruling the land with an iron fist. And they are so, like, delayed on that last line. He steals all we have and burns any villages which oppose him. No one has been able to stop him. Well, I'm assuming that's a little bit of... No one? She's just gone. Wow, that old lady just disappeared into the night as soon as she had nothing more to say. You seem like a bunch of freebies. I'm sure no one will miss them. What? I thought I was in town. I guess the soundtrack kind of reminds me of uh, like a Robin Hoodie type theme, but it's not its not excelling, ex excellent so far. I wouldn't call it excellent. I don't think anyone would. <laughs> well, I don't know what that was that I just picked up, but I'm sure it's all for the, the best. 
I guess we do have to go towards the guards, unless there's some way to scale that, that wall over here. Um... Alright. Yep, this is the last way. See, that looks like you can go through it, but oh, those are trunks of trees that are the same color as the dirt. That's what was throwing me off. Like, they look... The, uh, this version over here is so much more defined for some reason. I can, like, power slam it when I'm, uh... Oh, caught in the roots. What is this? Robin, I hear some noises to the north. Oh, you are very observant. Let's go. Oh, a bow. Welcome home, Luxley. I'm Guy of Gisborne, the sheriff's cousin. I'm so glad you came to me. You saved me the trouble of finding you. Kill him, then. No, oh, aren't you like... Oh, <laughs> Alright. See, this one, this part doesn't scare... Oh, that scares me a little bit. Robin and his men are defeated. Uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't be afraid at all. <laughs> Alright, well, we get another life, though. That's nice. Let's see... I don't really want to go collect all those things again. I should have drank my potion, that was my mistake. Oh, I wasn't healed either. I took some heavy damage as far as I know. I'm sure you do. I just cleared all the guys, that's nice. Let's see if I can pick that up. Nope. Alright. Oh, that's cool, I can switch guys with start. I like this guy right here. Oh, I must have switched right at the beginning last time. Because I was this guy last time, but he's the second guy. I remember trying to hit pause right when it started to take a better look at it. So, that first guy with the stabby, that makes more sense that that's Robin. I, I like this guy's scimitar, though. Robin finds a chest key, two bags of gold, and some leather armor amongst the remains. Among the remains, my bad. Alright. We shall meet again, Luxley. You will pay. I thought I'd just slain him, but, um... Oh, I'm assuming that's the... What's that guy doing up a tree? Well, we'll search around this chest. Robin Hood sees a locked chest. How about you... Talk to that dude. Thank you for save. Thanks for saving me from Nottingham's men. This is my land. They have no business here. You obviously don't know Nottingham. My father, John Little, is now an outlaw. An outlaw for feeding his family. I had better go before they return. Bye, Luxley. Wait, is Luxley, like, in my party now? I don't think so. We got Robin Hood and Zane. Hey, who are you talking to, kid? I don't... Alright, let's see if using the key works. Unlocks the chest with the key and finds a red potion within. That's gotta be some health. Where's my fucking red potion? Here, drink this yellow one. See what happens, buddy. Your health has been restored. Wow, that's really nice. Now I want to see what the red one does. Um, can I... I'm supposed to just give this to someone? Or maybe... Oh, I can use it. My agility goes down. And that's it, as far as I can tell? I'm gonna wear it. I mean, just... Just cause. I'm not gonna just leave it there. Grab the red potion. I should probably drink that, because that's what I was assuming was a health potion, but, uh... I should probably figure out how the bow works, too. Let's take that out. Oh, some armor, too. All this is stuff that I should be taking care of. Alright. Longbow requires both hands to use. Well, put down the ring, because that is over-encumbering, of course. <laughs> How fucking silly of me to think you could use a bow with a goddamn ring on your hand. Do I have to equip the quiver, too, or is that just something like you have X arrows? Well, we'll see, won't we? This next battle might be the end of us, depending on whether or not we actually have a weapon equipped. Oh no, that's beautiful. Bah! Oh, they're exploding fire arrows. Oh my goodness, this game just took off a little bit. Hidden bag of gold. Lovely. We'll take that gold. 
That's just immensely satisfying. Why can't every game have a bow and arrow that blows people's skeletons apart when you launch it at them? <laughs> just these random quivers of exploding arrows everywhere. Hidden quiver, pick them up, we're gonna need this. Grasp that quiver. Oh, I can do diagonally shooting as well. This bow is awesome. Alright, what do we got here? We are almost there. Just over that hill lies the prettiest castle. Hot food and real bed. Azim, home. Fucking hate fake beds. Alright. Is this the castle that we're talking about? Uh, it looks like your home's all fucked, dude. Oh no, Loxley Castle in ruins. There are evil forces in this land. Father, where are you? Um... Uh, I got bad news for you, buddy. That looks like your father... I'm assuming... Let's grab these quivers in case we start a battle. Or you can just enter. Why don't you search? Robin Hood is outside Lexi Castle. You see the body of Robin's father nearby. Yeah, you do, don't you? Take a look. Alright. Fucking dogs, Jesus. Blap! Blap! <laughs> I really shouldn't just be shooting arrows because I feel like it's pretty limited, but I just got two quivers. Yeah, see, this is all stuff that I want to search, but it just seems tedious. That's why I would like the quick quick search button would be nice somehow. Maybe select. Select is uh, an alternate pause. I think you can just have this for pause. And then, uh, select for some quick views option. Just a thought. Maybe they could patch that in. Kill these guys. Um. Take the band aids. Ah! Hey. Back off, puppy. <laughs> these guys are very unpredictable. They're just like, blah, all over the place. Yeah, see, like, look at that. That's. Quite cat-like, if I'm being honest. I'm not feeling the dog vibe. Advance is the next level. You are so skilled at shooting dogs in the head that we consider you on a level above your peers. Oh, 125 health. That's just wonderful. I almost killed you, but you seem nice, actually. Master Robin, is it you? Duncan? I thought you had abandoned us. Duncan, my father. Master Robin, you're here. It's a miracle. I'm assuming Duncan's not his father, but... Are you deaf, Duncan? What happened to my father? Yeah, that's what I thought he was saying. A miracle. A miracle. You left him to hang like a common thief. Why didn't you cut him down? Why? Easy, Robin. Look at his eyes. They took my eyes, Robin. This is, this is a grim story. I didn't realize Robin Hood was like this. Who? No. Who did this to you? Guy of Gisborne, with the sheriff and his witch Mort. Mordiana, looking on. Fuck them. I will not rest until my father is avenged. My father's avenged. Your father's medallion, the symbol of Loxley, is yours now. Take it. Wear it with the honor your father did. It's not safe here. We better before we better go before Gisborne returns. Yes, I must see Marion. Duncan has joined Robin Hood's band. Come on, guy. Join and don't do fucking jack shit. I'm assuming there's more to find here. That looks sketchy. Search. He never sees anything of interest. That's a candle. I know that's a candle. I should be able to have that. You can pick up torches, but candles are right out. Alright, let's keep it moving. Like, there's gotta be something in one of these sets of barrels, but no, nothing interesting. They're just fucking RPG barrels, it's not like they would... Oh, a wolf. Thank you, that's very fucking informative. Who puts a bunch of barrels and does not store anything in them? I mean, I could understand that in real life, but this is an RPG. If you put a bunch of barrels, I mean, you should include something for me, maybe. Or maybe just don't have the barrels. Oh, that was tough. What is that? Hold on. Oh, little mice! Bloop! <laughs> what the f- uh, Ah! They're exploding mice! 
That's what I'm talking about. These guys know how to do a barrel. I should probably heal a little more. Um, eat this shit. Yum. No, you're looking good now. That's fine. You should be fine. Just keep running. I think that's all we need to do here in this castle for now, so... My poor father. At least I can give you a decent burial. Duncan and Azim help Robin in the sad task of burying his father. This whole game has been a downer so far. <laughs> it's weird. I didn't. I guess I don't really know myself the story of Robin Hood, but I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I thought for sure that was leading me in the next direction to go. But, um... I'm not really sure where to go next. I guess back the way I came is the only real way. I'm not sure if it's everywhere. It's right here, maybe. Hmm. That is the way I came, if I'm correct. So, maybe... Um, hmm. Actually, I don't know. I mean, unless there's some way to go. Hmm. Maybe it's back inside, I guess? Maybe I missed the staircase going up, or I had to come outside and bury him before I went and did other stuff, or... There's less dogs. What the f Oh my goodness. Damn it. I tried to turn around and shoot him, but I was not swift enough. I don't trust that at all. Fucking random rug, not even treasure hidden underneath it. That's ridiculous. I really just... I'm done with the wolves. They don't drop me anything. I just don't want to fight them. Although I could be leveling up, I suppose, but I just... I don't care. <laughs> oh my god, like, what is up with this wing of the castle? Hold on, we're gonna need to switch to a sword for this. This is getting ridiculous. Like, I can be fucking shooting arrows at every goddamn... Yeah, I know he can't, you silly bo silly goose. Why would I ask him to wear it? Alright, this should be much better. I can't swing diagonally like this, though. I figured I might be able to after shooting with the arrow, but, uh... It seems that it's not the case. Alright, this is probably a bad idea. I should've stuck with the arrows. I mean, I have, like, fucking infinite arrows after finding them all. I mean, it would appear I'm going the wrong way, too, which is unfortunate, but most likely true. Um, I might as well just finish out exploring the castle, though, just to make sure that I don't know where to go anywhere in here. This guy just pushed me through a, a wall, maybe? A little sequence break action possible in this game? I think this is, yeah, this is solid. Oh, no, it's not solid. It's solid from certain... That's a little bit messed up, it looks like. I don't know. So, okay, I'm gonna assume that's not the way to go. Maybe we leave from the front? Uh, just kinda... Walking against random points on the side here, which is not... A good indication. Hmm. Well, I don't have a good feeling about this, so I'm probably gonna wrap it up anyways. This has to be longer than seven minutes. There's no way this is under seven minutes. So, <laughs> it's probably multiple seven minutes. Um. All in all, though, this is probably the best one I've reviewed so far, I would say. I mean, it's only episode 6, but, uh... Out of all the ones that i played, I think I like this one the best. It's pretty awesome. So, it's right up my alley when it comes to the adventure RPG style. So, all the mechanics and stuff like that I like. I really like the, uh... Oh! 
Okay, I'm gonna keep reviewing it while I move forward anyways, because I do have to wrap this up. But, um... I really like the, um... The multiple modes of combat. Like, you get this one. You get the, um... A hidden apple. Nice. Take that apple, Duncan. That's why I brought you along. Just... Does that really say that? Duncan sees nothing here to take, because he's fucking blind, dude. <laughs> it's harsh. So yeah, I really like the multiple combat systems. Now that I figured out how to heal and stuff, um, it seems a lot more doable as well. This is Dubois Manor, home of the Peter, he, home of Peter and his sister Marion. That's great. So yeah, it was a little bit hard at first, but I was just picking it up. It's that the um, the, the fighting that's kind of like the pirates fighting from that other video I did, um, but like side by side, jump on the tabley stuff. That's a little bit difficult. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Um, but, uh, the other overhead fighting with the multiple party members is its decently fun, too. I like that there's variation, and I've always liked adventure games, and this seems like the level of adventure game where, um, you're not going to spend, like, three hours trying to figure out a puzzle. It's kind of weird that you can't walk through that, but what do you expect? Oh, look at the horses. Talk to the horses. Oh, you're just not being imaginative enough. Search the horses. See a horse nearby. Well, you didn't see him a moment ago when I was looking for a friend to talk to. Um, so I like the art style. The sounds okay. It reminds me of the medieval stuff, but it's kind of just like generic music. It's probably the weakest part of the whole game. But the best is definitely the gameplay. And um, this is the kind of game that I could just sit down and probably play the whole thing through over time, especially if I could do a little chunk at a time, saving it and moving along. Um, I would totally beat this game. And actually, I think I'm going to look it up and buy it right after this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to look it up on eBay. I'll give you guys a quick uh, quick eBay price. Maybe that'll be part of the review, like the current price that it goes for. Robin Hood... Um, what's it called? <laughs> Robin Hood King of Thieves, is it? Or... Um, Prince of Thieves, there it is. Okay. Prince of Thieves... NES. We'll just get a, a baseline uh, baseline price for buy it now and see what it's worth. Whoa. Wow. This game is trending at $5.47. That's just lovely. I was expecting it to be like 50 bucks. I really was. I was not expecting it to be cheap at all. Sorry about the cursor again, guys. <laughs> I'll definitely shut that off next video. But um, that blows me away. I'm probably actually going to buy this as soon as I'm done making this video. Um, because, I mean, why bother playing it on an emulator when I can start actually getting through it, like, on an actual copy? And, um, yeah, so, out of all the, um, everything I've said about it so far, if I was going to give it a number rating, where 3 is, like, the average type of game I'd like to buy and have for my collection, I'd probably give this one a 4. Maybe, yeah, maybe even a, yeah, I'm going to go with a 4, not a 4.5. That's a pretty high rating, because, um, I think it has a lot of potential to be fun. Um, and it seems like the kind of game that has a lot of content, although not the kind of game that has replay value. That's the kind of, the, that's the thing that I'll put it down for. It's probably not too much, um, too much, that's a jackass thing to do. Be gone, stranger. Ma Marion Dubois cannot help you. Well, fuck off, you don't even know me. But, um, yeah, alright, well I'm gonna cut this video short. Thanks for hanging out with me again, guys. Uh, I'll probably be making another one right after this, so... Um, yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, guys.